album collection update. All right. Let's see what we picked up a couple days ago, shall we? Um, got Death Spell Omega's Paracletus, first of all. Now, this is not something I was really expecting to find at all, because they're an avant-garde black metal band, and usually places don't sell stuff like that very often, but I just came across this, and i show you the inside there. It's a pretty cool logo. It's pretty sweet. And the booklet itself, ooh, let's get into this. It's got this weird flat thing that opens up on both sides. There we go. All right. Pericles. Anyone who speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven either in this age or in the age to come. So it says. I mean, uh, <laughs> if I could describe this band, they are very Satan-y. That's how I would describe Death Spell Omega. Um, yeah. <laughs> Very Satan y. Um, like I said, they're like they're classified by, you know, like Metal Storm and a whole bunch of other crap as like being avant garde black metal, which just basically means they're experimental black metal. Which is very true. Um you know, they have their traditional shrieks and tremolo pick guitars and, you know, like that type of stuff. But also it has like really weird like post-metal atmospheric songs and sections and some other cool little, I can't even explain. Uh, very good album. It's definitely not a light listen. You actually have to sit down and actually just listen to it all the way through because all the songs blend together. Like they go into each other. Like you can't just pick out one song and be like, oh, like they actually go, it flows together the whole album. So it's like a listening experience. But there it is. It's pretty cool. Season of the Mist. That's uh, Season of Mist. They do Cynics albums, I believe, right? It's, yeah. Um. All right. Another thing I picked up was the, the uh, first Cerebral Bore album, their only full-length album, I believe, uh, released on Earache Records. Um, it, this is just like traditional slam death metal, like kind of like in the vein of like suffocation and stuff like that. Um, they're a really young group, and what's really interesting about them is they are led by a female vocalist, believe it or not, and when you listen to them, you would never, never, ever guess never guess that they're that's a female vocalist she's actually over here on the end but yeah they're really young and um they have some of the most disgusting and brutal lyrics i've ever heard in my life like they're actually kind of gross like i'm not gonna lie like if you read yeah it's kind of gross <laughs> messed up but um uh, it's not the most extraordinary album in the world but you know it's fun to listen to i like i like to just make I just like listening to ultra brutal stuff on occasion. Nothing wrong with that. It's actually, you know, it's what I do for fun. Yeah, it's a pretty good album. It's solid. Like I said, nothing special. I mean, I probably I paid full price for it. I, I probably would have preferred to uh got it, you know, for like seven or eight bucks instead of what I paid for it. But you know, it's a good listen. Now this this is honestly one of the coolest cover album uh, cover artwork I've ever seen on an album. This is the new Angel Witch album. So above, so below. Now look at that. That thing is beautiful. In the back there. Oh, I love it. Let me open it up here. See, I never really listened to Angel Witch before. I didn't know they were part of like the uh, new wave of british heavy metal from like the 70s and 80s like they've been around for a really long time this is the first album they released in i think 12 or 14 years or something like that some ridiculous number and the album itself i mean look it's awesome like you got the baphomet with like the album artwork on the cd um i don't know it's it sounds very uh black sabbath-esque and more kind of chilled out i guess i mean you know how they, there's a lot of throwback bands nowadays in this heavy metal scene like the sword and baroness almost it's kind of like that because they are they're originally from 1970s i mean but it, it's a very good album and the instrumentation is what really 
makes it good. The vocals themselves leave something to be desired in my opinion, in my my very personal opinion. Um, they it's definitely a grower because when I first listened to it, the vocals kind of yeah, I was just like ah yeah. I was like, well, thankfully the uh, the album itself looks freaking cool, but you know, after I listened to it again, it's a lot better than when I first, you know, listened to it. I actually enjoy it quite a bit now. Like it's actually ranked up there pretty high on my favorites for this year so far for 2012 because this is the only new album I bought when I went out a couple days ago and this is something I just kind of want to show off because I think it's kind of cool and you don't find this anywhere I actually got this um, at Soundgarden in Baltimore and this is uh, Mortician's Hacked Up for Barbecue Zombie Apocalypse now, this is probably the most ridiculous album I own. Um, this isn't even like a re-release, I don't believe. I think this is the original. Yeah. Like, I mean, look at that. It's freaking mortician. I mean, if you haven't listened to this before, <laughs> oh, I, I could find people finding it comical what it sounds like. It's like mostly just a lot of like farting noises and like just kidding not really that it's not that bad but um it's just like somebody like if i forget how many people is it just one guy or two or three i'm trying to think I'm trying to think oh shit i mean it's three guys three guys um guitars and drum programming yeah you could definitely tell that the drums are programmed on this it's like these guys just basically wanted to make the most brutal thing ever conceived, and that's what it sounds like. Like, the bass is just like fuzz in the background. Like, it's like, like it's so it's so ridiculously heavy. It's just fun. I mean, it's not something I listen to. Um, what's really cool is they use samples from old horror movies and stuff like that. So of course I like that, but it's just cheese. I mean, I just bought it just to have it. It's really cool. So you know, mortician. Well, that's all I have for now as an update. I'll keep updating as I purchase new stuff. I mean, my collection's growing quite a bit. So, uh, thanks for watching.